Mm -hmm. The Matrix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we going? Sure, we could go. Are you gotta pull up the thing so you can say the word. Oh, right. There's an introduction. Are we? Are we? Is this in the video? Yes. I guess so. This is a part of the podcast. Okay. Oh boy. We're going. Oh boy. There's the intro. Oh boy. Welcome to Game Aversary, where once a month we talk about a game celebrating an anniversary. Pretty self explanatory. I'm Kevin. Why did you wave? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wave at the mic. I'm Brendan. I'm Leif. And I'm Sylvia. This month, you know what we're talking about? Something so controversial. It ruins families. It's Star Wars. <laughs> Empire at War, the RTS game. Which is celebrating its 15th anniversary. I'll Oof. go over a quick history of this game. In 2004, he was talking about making a RTS game by Petroglyph. The game officially released on February 16th, 2006. I meant to write Mac version, but it's now Max version. Max uh, himself. <laughs> Max himself. There's a Max version. The game was released, and a Mac version was later announced for April 2007. At E3 2006, an expansion was already announced called Forces of Corruption, and the expansion was released on October 24th, 2006. And then finally on April, the Mac version released. So not as fun as a history as a, our previous episode of FNAF World. I, I played it a lot as a kid. I remember really liking it, so I was really happy to get back to it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm ready, and I played it, and it was super hard for me and I went how how as a kid did I enjoy this game if I could barely play it as an adult yeah I'm not great at RTSs either Real-time strategy game. It's a real-time strategy game. Okay. I don't know why we put the G in game in RPG, but not in RTS. Because RTS G is kind of a long... Well, RP... It's three letters. Oh, yeah, you're right. Rule yeah. of thirds. Rule of two, Star Wars That's reference. That's not what rule of thirds is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the tutorial is very long. Yeah, seven parts. One through five are just standard tutorials where it actually lets you play the game. However, six and seven are the complete flip side of it. And at the very start, it says, <laughs> this is a non-interactive tutorial. That's my favorite little quote because it's voice acted too. And he's all like... This non-interactive tutorial will provide you with the information needed to play land-based skirmish games within Star Wars Empire at War. Oh, I have nub hands as my next note. Nub hands? The game was meant to have at least like hundreds of these guys on screen at once. So you view them from very far away and they're low polygon. And you don't notice when you're that far away. However, they zoom in on cutscenes and they just have little, little nub hands that are like perfectly round and it looks so silly. They they look like me's with the early 2001 Half-Life textures. Oh, marvelous. Yeah, that that's a perfect way to describe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like how some characters in Fire Emblem don't have feet. Yeah. If the hands are nubs, what are the feet? Yeah, they're like wedges, I think. Oh, no. A vague foot form. Yeah. I thought you were about to say vague foot fetish. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. No. <laughs> The thought, like, do their hands look exactly like their feet? Popped into my mind. That also popped into my mind. What <laughs> defines as a vague? <laughs> Wait. See, I, I really thought you boys weren't gonna be able to tie Pinner into this episode, but here ben. we are. Wait. Speaking of tying, uh, how are we gonna tie this into Alpha and Omega? You know what? Alpha Squadron. There's probably an Alpha Squadron in Star Wars. There are units that are actually beasts or whatever. There are yeah. wolf units. Um, There's furries in Star Wars? <laughs> no, no. They're, they're like actual wolves. Um, there, what's that giant creature? The it's Rancor? Sort of, it's like hunched over. Yeah, I think the, that's the, the Rancor. Rancor. The, the yeah, one in Jabba's in. Palace? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's yeah. in the game. I saw it in the oh, trailer. Yeah. Rancor? No, not yeah. a Rancorn. Oh, now you're going to have to look up a Photoshop of a, of a Rancor and a Rainicorn. You'll have to Lady Photoshop Lady it. Ra oh, I, I'm, I'd be glad to make a Rancor Rainicorn. If you don't know what Star Wars Legends is, it's a... Did you just fix my zipper? Yeah. While I was talking? <laughs> yeah. Why you weren't have supposed to You weren't supposed to say anything about it. <laughs> well, I did. And now I can't... 
I, I can't fix the little... Oh my gosh. Okay, continue what you <laughs> fix, were saying. Fix so it. Keep saying. Fix it. Thank I fixed you. it. Thank you. Okay, continue. <laughs> oh, Legends. So when Disney bought Star Wars, they looked at all the expanded universe stuff and went, that's a load of shit. <laughs> and <laughs> threw it away and decided, I'm going to make my own and restart. And so now it's called Legends. Uh, though there was some really weird stuff in Legends. I realized for some reason, the game has like a rock, paper, scissors aspect to all its units to where some units are good against them and some units are bad. A lot of the vehicles are weak against a lot of foot units for whatever reason. That like the tight yeah. tank just gets destroyed by most fe- foot units. That yeah, I noticed sense. that. That, I doesn't, doesn't, that doesn't... And, and that's how I kept losing was because I'm all like, well, here's a tank. Of course I'm going to run over these foot units and then it got destroyed. I wrote down Darth Errand Boy because that's the plot of the Empire story. Emperor Palpatine going... Make sure to bring darkness to the Force. But don't forget about the, the Death Star. Darth Vader finds a, a tractor. Tractor? You find something sometime before the first Death Star. So the game takes place before Episode 4. So I was playing the Empire campaign, and then I load into a map on the ground, and the game just pops out of existence. Not a crash report, nothing. And then I sat there and thought, this is an old game. Autosaving doesn't exist yet, does it? Oh... Uh... And I boot up the game, and there was no save file. Yeah. <laughs> I had something on the company. The studio, Petroglyph. It's a studio made up of former Command and Conquer developers. Oh! What's that? Oh, that, of course! It's another RTS game. That's probably why the game is so good, and also way overly complicated, yeah. is because you got the RTS people making this game. Yeah. But they couldn't add an autosave function? <laughs> <laughs> I did want to mention also, they made a game engine specifically for this game. Weird, they made a whole new engine just for a Star Wars game and only used it for an expansion. On January 15th, 2021, the game devs decided to add more content for the anniversary with help from the modding community. You could get HD texture packs, but the nub hands are still there, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a big giant pack that adds the entire prequel trilogy and then the sequel trilogy. When I was looking up this game on Wikipedia, it had a whole section of inconsistencies, which was how it separated itself from how things actually work within the Star Wars lore. And one of them I found so funny for some reason. Units deploy from an ATAT from the bottom instead of the sides. Oh. Hey. What? I'm pretty sure the guys sitting at the computer making the game were all like, hmm, yes, let's make sure they deploy from the side correctly and realistically instead of, yeah. let's just plop them in there. Yeah. I did want to talk about the game itself, how it played. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Since, you know, that's <laughs> it. barely talked about the game. Yeah. I, that's, that's, that's my job at this point, the is to enti- talk about the game. The only thing we've talked about the game so far were Titans. Okay, the other thing I wanted to mention, there's not very much unit variety. You get more later. I also noticed there's not a lot of, like, name Star Wars characters in this game. There's C-3PO and R2. There's C-3PO and R2-D2. As Captain. one unit. As one unit. There's Darth Vader. He can destroy tanks with one of his abilities. He just pushes a tank with the Force. And how does that destroy them? He just, like, throws it against the wall. Oh. Just throws the thing. Yeah, Darth Vader stands there. He, like, uses the force to lift it up for a couple seconds and then throws it. So it's really funny to watch him just get shot at by all the other units (laughs) as he throws this one tiny tank. So in Dawn of War, you can build on certain points. And I heard there was something similar? There is. Do you know what they do at all, or? Uh, some upgrade your units. Some give you more units. I know you have to build a space station to even build ships. And then you could call in reinforcements, which are those guys that you built and spawned. And then you can only have a max of a certain amount that you could spawn at once. Can you increase the unit cap at all? Or do certain areas Um, have different unit caps? I'm like 90% sure you can. The interesting thing about units, if one tank gets shot, then the health of the whole unit goes down. Yeah. From what I saw, it looked like a total health bar. 
Yeah, yeah, there's a total, and then when they start taking enough damage, or if you hover over a specific one, they all have their own individual health. Ah, uh, okay. Which is an interesting way to do it. Yeah. In fact, almost every RTS I've seen has the drag click box. Yes. So you can select huge chunks of units. I feel like RTSs is one of the only games that actually use a drag box yeah. in a video game. Yeah. If you alt click a unit, it will select all of that same unit. If you alt click a chicken walker, it will select all the chicken walkers. That's, so it's a very traditional RTS. There's, I'm just gonna call it fog of war. Like if you have one random unit out somewhere and they get killed, then that part of the map just goes. Yo, Joe died. I can't get him on the radios. Damn, looks like I can't see anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was interesting that they also made space and land battles. Yeah, yeah. That must have been hard on the development team. Yeah. It, it wasn't just the boss came in and said, hey, we're doing both space and ground. Yeah. Like the team said, we need both space and ground because that's Star Wars. Yeah. You don't just want one. Looking at you, Squadrons, even though I love that game. Squadrons is good, but it's only space. <laughs> yeah. On the map screen with all the planets, you could move your units into enemy territory and force them into a battle and then you could also spy on them so there's a lot of interactivity even on the map screen uh, that's cool which i'm surprised about how many planets there are i think there's like i want to say 30 whoa there's 30 planets when you play on the bigger map probably a lot of like salt planets yeah desert planet the snow, planet. snow yeah. planet but that means there's also two of every planet because they had to make a space variant and a ground variant which is interesting i never see people ever do auto resolve yeah what's the point of auto resolve in most strategy games yeah Isn't that, like, just auto the battle. whole point you don't see auto battle anymore uh, in most strategy games other than i think fire emblem still has auto battle yeah three houses still has it does the first fire emblem have auto battle i don't think it does probably because they can program it at at the time, they didn't have enough room on the cartridge. They didn't have enough space to put the feet for models. That's awakening. And then they proved themselves wrong by making fates and then having the character barefoot. Yeah, on the same exact console. Anyway, Star Wars. Oh, yeah, yes, the Star, Star Wars. War. Uh, who's a barefoot character so we can relate this conversation? Does Jar Jar have shoes? Does Grogu have shoes? Yeah, there we go. We've now tied in our <laughs> connecting fates to Star Wars. Who doesn't yeah. have shoes? Yes. How long is the game? Yeah, like, if the story, if you were to finish it. How long hmm? is Star Wars Empire at War? At War? At War? At War? The main story is about 15 hours long. I feel bad that I only played it for a max of like three, four hours and went, Oof. yep, that's good enough because it did an auto save, so I'm too mad at the game to come back. I didn't even play it for that long. Happy anniversaries, Star Wars. How many hours do I even have on that game? Why did it open five tabs of Steam? <laughs> you wanted five <laughs> tabs. You want five Steam? I have two hours on the game. You have two hours? That's it. Uh, I'm W, so. So not 33 this time? You're a W? <laughs> no. No? What? You're a W? D double U? Double B? Double D? Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Full circle. Star Wars. Uh, that, yes. Now that was a Star War. I feel like it's a very standard RTS. It definitely really shows when this RTS was made. Yeah. And by who? Because it's like, this is an RTS. This is what was popular in 2006. Yeah. You'll love this game if you like RTSs. All right. Closing thoughts about the game. Yeah. Uh, what do we all rate the game? 4.1. As a man who does not like RTSs, two and a half, just a middle. From what I've seen, I would I would give it, uh, yeah, around a four, maybe like a... I'll just give it like an even three out of five. But three's an odd number. And? <laughs> you said an even score. Yes, like no point <laughs> five seven whatever. You said even, you give it an even number. Like the whole number. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Besides uh, that. So go play Star Wars Empire at War if you like RTS and Star Wars. All right. We end the podcast here. I mean, I have no idea what's going on right now. Uh, did you remember Titanic? We could bring it back to Titanic. No. Titanic? Oh, Titanic. 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 
Every so time we say Thai tank, you need to come up with a different image for Thai tank. No. Thai tanks. Thai tanks. Thai tanks. <laughs> Thai tanks. Thai tank. Thai tank. Thai tanks. Thai tank. Thai tank. Thai yeah. tank. Thai 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 t